In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between checkout links and tracking links and how to set up both. So on WAP, you have your store. This is something that we've been familiar with through the course. Basically, this is your public store page that's on our marketplace. You can send them this store link to anyone and they can check out whether they found the link or whether they just searched it through the marketplace. Now, if you're a high ticket coach, maybe you don't want your pricing to be public. Maybe you have a private community that's invite only and you don't want people to even know it exists. Well, on WAP, you can create checkout links. So you can literally just input a price, make that link, send it directly to someone. And the only way to find that is with that link. And so if I'm an agency and I'm selling marketing services and I have bespoke pricing, meaning I might charge $1,500 for just a logo and an ad, but I might charge $8,000 for five videos at a package deal. So I wanna use a checkout link since I'm not using universal pricing and it's only specific to that one customer. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and go to our dashboard. Let's go to checkout links. Let's go ahead and create a new checkout link. So I'm gonna say it's for my WAP, WAP Mastery. Again, I could choose any WAP that I have, whether it's public or private. Then I could say this is a recurring charge. So this is gonna be $1,000. Let's do $3,000 retainer. So if I'm a design agency or a marketing agency, I'm gonna have a $3,000 per month retainer. The subscription period could be weekly, monthly, three months, one year, whatever it is. I'm gonna keep it at one month. So let's say it's $500 for a setup fee and then $3,000 a month. So I can actually make it so if it's a $500 setup fee and then it starts charging you $3,000 a week later, I would do a seven day free trial. So this means that it's a $500 initial fee to start. I'm gonna spend seven days getting set up. And then once I'm set up, you get charged $3,000 every single month from there. So this is really cool. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. Realistically, if you just wanna keep it simple, it's just no initial fee, no free trial duration, and it's just $3,000 a month recurring until they cancel. And I'm gonna give this an internal name, design services for X client. And this will just help me with organization. So I'm gonna do payment options. I can enable PayPal as well, but I'm gonna hit create and boom, I have a brand new checkout link designed for one specific client. And the only way to find this is if you actually get sent it to you directly. So this will never show up on the marketplace, but these people can still get access to your WAP. So to copy this checkout link, all I have to do is hit the three arrows and hit copy checkout link. And when we click it, you can see that this is exactly where it takes them. So it doesn't take you to a store page on the WAP marketplace. It just takes you to a direct checkout link for $3,000 per month. And you just input your credit card that's already saved in WAP. So this is a super powerful thing. And of course, this is where you can add promo codes if you want to give people a specific discount based off your relationship with them. So this is a very powerful thing. You can create thousands of these so you can charge any of your clients any amount in an instant just like that. So again, this can be tied to a WAP or you can just have nothing tied to it, just accept money and handle everything else off platform. It's very, very powerful. One of the best things about WAP is that we have checkout links like this. Now, something I wanna show you now is called a tracking link. So maybe you're not gonna create different prices for all your different clients. Let's just go back to our offer for WAP Mastery. WAP Mastery, our store is $150 a month for this product, but I have different traffic sources. I have my YouTube channel. I have my Instagram. I have Snapchat, Twitter, email, all these different traffic sources. And maybe I want to see my conversion rate from each one. On YouTube, one out of 10 people might buy my product. So I have a 10% conversion. But in email, three out of 10, it's 30%. Or maybe my Instagram stories is really low. Only 3% are doing that. So a tracking link helps me see what platform is the best converting for my product. And that way I know if it's very low, I need to go improve my Instagram conversion rate. So let's go to our dashboard and set up our tracking links. All we need to do for that is to go to marketing, go to tracking links and do the same process. Name it, IG funnel. We're gonna choose the Watt Mastery product and we can either send them to the store directly or we can make a tracking link for a checkout link as well. So we can test, does our store convert better with all of our copy and our VSL? Or do people just want the no nonsense checkout link? One side note is that people do use ClickFunnels, Go High Level, all these other funnel building platforms, but they still use WAP for checkout links. WAP has payment services. So if you still use these other external funnel building tools, you can just use these checkout links and embed that on the button on your funnel building website building tool. So keep that in mind, that is very powerful. And now you can actually just go ahead and name the URL. Keep in mind, this will be visible when people click on it and they're looking at the URL, but I'm gonna say IG2. 
So now I have a tracking link. I named it internally IG funnel. So I know what it's for. And then I make the custom URL because you have to have a custom URL for every single link. Keep that in mind. I'll hit create. And there we go. Now I have a unique tracking link and I'll be able to track the clicks, the revenue generated and the conversion rate from that specific traffic source. Now I can put this link wherever I want, but for my sake, I'm only going to put this on Instagram. And to get the link, I just hit copy link right there. So this is a really powerful thing. Very helpful for marketers online. This is how you set up checkout links. And this is how you set up tracking links. And that's the difference. Understanding a tracking link is solely just letting you see where the traffic's coming from and how it's converting. A checkout link is actually making something that's going to capture credit card. But of course you can use a tracking link with a checkout link. So hopefully that was helpful, really powerful stuff. Try to use these creatively.